it's the Underdogged, and today I want to talk to you about combo techniques. Now, excuse the informal nature of this video, it's um, being recorded on the fly, I'm ab-libbing this without a script. Um, I've been recording a lot of other videos and they're very time consuming to make so I felt like I wasn't doing enough to support the Duck Hunt Duo meta game so this is the video to make up for it. I'll try and very quickly go over as many combo techniques and try to explain my reasoning in a short space of time. Anyway, I'll stop talking. Straight in. Down throw into forward smash. It's better than down throw into forward air or up air because most opponents will immediately attempt to air dodge and they'll immediately get caught in the forward smash. Others will attempt to attack you, but forward smash has good priority. The only ones you won't get are the characters that float and have good jumping ability. If they jump out of the down throw once their hit tumble or hit stun has finished, they'll you won't be able to reach them, even if you pursue after them very quickly with a double up air or a double jump into a double up air, they'll generally get away. But a forward smash is a really nice conversion. Uh, once you do the forward smash, they'll usually go flying back and they'll usually either fall on the ground or they'll sort of slide back, it's depending if you get slide glitch or not. Generally, the best option to cover the get-up is a frisbee. Um, if a frisbee's not available, then it's a gunman, because what will happen is, if they roll forwards, you can shoot the frisbee early, or it will hit them in the face, and then you can follow up with a grab combo, and if they roll really far away, you can still hit them with the frisbee on a good curvature, and you can multi-shot them. Um, if they're close enough, you can maybe grab them, but I often find that the grab hit boxes don't properly work. It sort of just goes through them. Um, but you can just, once they've been hit by the frisbee, deploy a gunman which will maintain the pressure and then go in for a grab. If they jump, you can up air and cover their jump. I mean, these are all really good techniques. I'll see if I can find some videos, otherwise you'll just see blank stuff. Another great technique is the gunman into neutral air and the can into neutral air. Now, to a lot of people, this seems counterintuitive because it seems very aggressive and leaves you very exposed. But if you have a gunman on the ground and your opponent's on the ground and you then... Okay, I, I should explain the setup. You jump, you deploy the gunman, and then you execute the neutral air as soon as the first frame comes available. And if usually the gunman will drop down and they'll cover the ground, and your opponent has to make a decision. And most often, you'll win out regardless of what decision they make. If they stay in shield, the gunman and the neutral air will severely weaken their shield, which means they won't be able to use it to defend against projectiles in the next few attacks. If they try to do a grab punish on the neutral air, which some will do, the gunman usually shoots them and breaks you three. You'll take a bit of damage, but they'll take more damage than you do, so the trade-off is excellent. If they try to attack your neutral air, the gunman overrides. If they try to attack the gunman, the neutral air overrides. If they fall back, then you've spaced them, which gives you room to insert more uh, projectiles, more frisbees. Now, most of you are probably wondering about the smash KO conversions. These are pretty tricky. Your, your KO conversions, the easiest conversion... I say easiest, it's arbitrarily relative. The easiest for Duck Hunt is down... It's not um not down throw. It's Frisbee into down air. So if you can trap them in a Frisbee, you'll have to use the uh, Frisbee technique that I suggested in the tips and tricks where you have to, like, stall the Frisbee. And if you stall it long enough, you can hold them in position where a down air becomes pretty pertinent. Most opponents will air dodge that. If you're quick enough, you can follow up with a second um, second attack, which is a back air. But most often, you'll be facing them towards the stage and it won't necessarily KO them. But it's, it's good to back air them and get additional damage. Um, from Frisbee, you can also get up air KOs, but that tends to be on much higher percents, which ironically is where up air is the most effective. Um, 
otherwise you'll have to stick with frisbee and forward air and just knocking them off the edge but that isn't technically a true KO conversion. The most true KO conversion I've seen is perhaps the hardest to pull off. It's an on-stage down air. If you can get an on-stage down air anywhere and you can read the opponent, you will get an excellent KO follow-up. Because if, if you're dealing with a heavier character and you do a down air... Chances are you'll be able to up smash them and it will KO them, especially if they're at that kind of percent where they'll bounce off the stage. If you down air them and they float high up in the air, usually a floaty character, they're primed for an up air, which is actually the best thing to kill them with. Lighter characters that are smaller, like Nez and Lucas, they're trickier. A down air, you can usually get a connecting forward smash, but you have to read which direction they're going. Some are really sneaky. Some will try and land on top of you, where the forward smash has no effect, in which case an up smash is the most pertinent choice. I mean, you can even sometimes pull out a down smash from a down air stage mount. Now, I, I know what most of you are thinking. It's like, what if they tech? If they tech, usually if you down air and you pull back, by the time their tech has finished, um, I, I've, I'll show a video here, but you should see that I down air Lucas and then I forward smash him. Uh, in the same time that it takes for an opponent to tech, the forward smash will come out and usually it will be a heavy punish. Some will get their shield up just in time, but at high percents, shields have a nasty tendency for the opponents anyway to fail, and it becomes an excellent KO conversion. Uh, off stage, there aren't really many techniques for getting decent KO conversions other than the really obvious ones like down airing them at their apex. Don't be afraid to go out there as duck hunt. Um, except for when it's up bees that have a lot of priority, like Corrin's up bees. But according to Esam, you can still um, down air Corrin if you hit them in the right space. Very good hitbox, you know, it covers all around her, except right above the top of her head. You can actually get inside Corrin as, you know, her invulnerability is going and use a lingering hitbox, uh, preferably a multi hit move. Um, but. Go go out there, try and down air them, down air them at the right point. Just avoid getting meteored, and that tends to be the problematic one. Um, the tricks that I'm learning now are you want to use the projectiles to force them to air dodge, and most opponents will do this with great cliche, and then you want to forward air the absolute crud out of them, or down air them as they air dodge, or up air them, or better yet, back air them and the best place to do the back air attack from is from the ledge so you grab onto the ledge they're coming back you back air them it's a guaranteed ko but most opponents will try and air dodge that obviously off stage you can use back aired cads but they're really difficult to get out quickly and i'm much i i'm more i more prefer to keep the pressure up on opponent rather than letting him get a move in sideways than necessarily getting a guaranteed ko because once they get up to 180 most things including grabs will kill them at the edge um in terms of additional combos i didn't explain the um can to neutral air Counter neutral air is a self-harming move, but it's extremely effective. Basically, you deploy the can and then you deploy the neutral air. If the opponent hits you in the neutral air, the can will explode on them and you. But if you hit them with the neutral air, they'll knock back, they'll go into the can and they'll be launched even further, which gives you plenty of space and breathing room to start hitting them. But admittedly, that's easier said than done. A lot of these KOs are hard to pull off. Um, there is another sort of semi-secret KO where it's Gunman into up air. If you can time a Gunman shot with a dash into up air, it is possible to KO a person. And I'm talking like a mid-air Gunman. So when a person comes down, the mid-air Gunman shoots them for like... 
uh, 20, 30 frames, they'll be in hit stun. If you can get onto them and up air them, they won't be able to air dodge or maneuver out of that, and you can KO them. Anyway, this is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please persevere with the channel. Uh, as much feedback as possible on new and upcoming videos. I know not all of you necessarily like the content. If you don't like it, please be honest and upfront that you don't like it or you're not interested in it. I, I actually need constructive criticism. I actually need negative criticism more than I need positive criticism. I mean, positive criticism helps. It lets me know what people like. I know that I need to produce more of it. But if people remain silent, uh, I don't know what to make. Don't feel like you're personally attacking me. I won't take it personally. I I'm not a professional, but I, I I am mature. I know how to handle these things. But as much feedback in the direction of the channel, because your feedback will ultimately shape the outcome of this channel. We're doing animations. We've done educational videos. I'll probably do one, perhaps, on how to do programming. Um, we've got Duck Hunt Hero technique videos still. I'm kind of moving away from the replay ones because I don't think they're as interesting or as engaging, judging by the sort of user interactions with it. But I will do my best to try and bring you quality content no matter what it is. Just persevere with me. I'm sort of working on a makeshift system here. Anyway, thank you for watching. This is The Underdog speaking. Over and out.